so namaste to everyone so this is this is the uh, video where i am going to explain noun okay this is the remaining part of noun because i have completed the various kind of noun in the first video okay this is the second part of noun see noun okay because um, there is a, there is a, the some part is remaining of noun okay so in today's video we will complete the parts of speech noun okay so um, let's start the uh, discussion part of the video okay in this part we won't solve any kind of questions or exercise okay we will discuss various kinds of noun and this is the last part of noun parts of speech okay So the noun. Noun. Uh, noun has two cases. Okay, one is nominative case, and another one is objective or accusative case. Okay. What is nominative case? When a noun. Or pronoun is used as a subject of a part. Okay, it is called nominative case. Okay, what is objective case? Objective or accusative case. Okay, when a noun or pronoun is used as the object of verb. Okay, it is called as objective or accusative case. Okay, now we will. We will give some tricks how to find nominative case and objective or accusative case. Okay, to find nominative case, put who or what. Okay, before the verb. If you put who or what before a verb, then you will find the nominative. Case. Okay, to find the accusative case, put who or what. Okay, and then you will find accusative case. Okay, for example, Hari broke the window. Here, win window is objective. Okay? Objective, objective part of the sentence. Okay. And in the second example, the window was broken. The window here is nominative case, okay. And in the first example, window is a example of accusative case, okay. And there is a there is an exception to the objective or accusative case that is a noun. Which comes after a preposition is also called accusative case or objective case. The book is on the desk. Here, desk is accusative or objective case. Okay, but it is it comes after preposition on. Okay, and there is another. Case of noun that is the object is also divided into two part that is direct object and indirect object. Okay, so noun has has two uh, two case that is uh, one is nominative case 
and another one is accusative or objective case okay objective has two part that is direct and indirect okay indirect so the example is rama gave a ball here a ball is object and it is a direct object okay rama gave hari a ball okay here hari is indirect object okay a ball is direct object so rama gave hari a ball here hari is indirect object rama gave whom whom if you uh, if you question a uh, question uh, uh, if you question uh, question a, a word by whom then you will get the answer this is the formula for indirect object okay rama gave whom hari what if you answer a uh, if you answer a word by what then you will get the answer of direct object okay in this case a ball is direct object and hari is indirect object okay and there are uh, in the in this sentence the noun ball is object of gave okay the in first sentence first sentence and in second sentence in first sentence there is only direct object in the second sentence there there are direct object and indirect object okay The next part is possessive or genitive case. Okay. This is Rama's umbrella. Okay. Here Rama is included with apostrophe S. Okay the form of noun rama is changed to rama's to show ownership or possession okay apostrophe is, is included to show ownership or possession okay the noun rama's is therefore said to be in the possessive or genitive case okay but there are many exception of above rules okay exceptions means you know, apostrophe s does not show all does always does not show the ownership okay mm -hmm. so if a word comes with apostrophe s that does not mean it shows ownership or possession okay there are many exceptions okay and the one exception is given as example okay a week's holiday here here there is no really no there is no relation of ownership okay a week's weeks uh, uh, apostrophe is used mm. Apostrophe S is not used as ownership, okay. Ownership or possession, okay. A holiday which here the uh, the this phase means uh, a holiday which lasts a week, okay. So there is no relation in ownership or possession, okay. So when noun is plural, if the noun is plural. Uh, boys school okay and boys is already a plural word okay so we don't need to uh, write s 
after apostrophe a, apostrophe okay we will give we will write apostrophe after s boy school okay when the sentence is plural but does not end in s okay like man men okay woman women so in that case we don't um, don't know we don't uh, put the apostrophe at the last of the word okay in the in this case we will write apostrophe is apostrophe is okay first we write apostrophe then we need to write is okay to show position and other exceptions okay the next part is noun in apposition okay noun in apposition means Rama, our captain, made 50 runs. Okay, here Rama is now as well as our captain is also now. So, here in this sentence, there are two now. Okay, two now. So, we um, uh, there explanation is given below okay we uh, we see that rama and our captain are, are one and the same person okay one and the same person okay the noun captain follows the noun rama simply simply to explain which rama is referred to okay when one noun follows another to describe it the noun which follows it follows is said to be in opposition to the noun which comes which comes before it okay which comes before it means the noun which follows it said to be in opposition okay the first noun is used um, the second noun is giving information about first noun okay the second noun is called noun in opposition okay there are three sentence for example okay covid the great reformer okay great reformer was a waiver waiver there the, in this sentence the uh, the great reformer is noun in opposition and it is a nominative case okay and the second example is yesterday i meet your uncle the doctor okay here the doctor is noun in opposition okay and this is a accusative case okay have you seen ganguly the artist drawings have you seen ganguly this is uh give ganguly uh, this is a genitive case okay uh, the artist drawings okay mm -hmm. so uh, ganguly is an artist okay mm -hmm. so uh, the artist drawings is giving information about first noun ganguly okay so the artist drawings is noun in opposition and it is a genitive case okay so this makes an end to the video okay so
so bye bye to everyone so tomorrow and in the next video we will start with adjective